what's up guys, it's Reprisal now, aka Jake, and as promised, this is my prices free first thoughts video. Now, as I'm in Social Nova Network Director, um, there is a different version of this video being um, uploaded to their channel, um, but this is it's, it's the same sort of title, it's a first thoughts video, but it's just worded differently, and it's just a bit different in the commentary side. Um, now, first thoughts straight away is the online is pretty quiet, like I said in my um, channel plan video. Um, there's about 450 500 people on max at the same time, you know, when you compare that to Black Ops 2 with uh, 100,000, 180,000, sometimes even more than that, that is a very stark difference. You know, there's not even a thousand people playing this, yet there's 180,000 playing Black Ops 2. But that doesn't make it a bad game. It is, in my opinion, a pretty good game to play. Um, all of this footage that you'll be seeing is online, and this is going to be an online um, review. Um, the play style is different. You know, it's not like Battlefield 3 or Call of Duty or um, Warfighter or anything like that. You've got these um, extra abilities as this, as your nano suit gives you. You know, you can um, jump higher. You can, you know, go into stealth. You can put armor mode on which means that you get reduced damage taken from bullets and explosives and falling damage and stuff like that. Um, the kill streaks are based on getting the dog tags that people drop. Um, so you can't so if you're a sniper, you know you can't get high kill streaks, you can't get like the UAVs um, or the gunships or anything like that unless you actually go around and pick up the dog tags. So it kind of it's like kind of an anti camping um, feature of the game. Uh, another feature of the game I like on the online side is that you can customize your weapon with attachments, um, under barrels and barrels like silencers and um, you know red dot sights stuff like that. In the middle of a game, um, by pressing the select button, um, it opens up a customized weapon feature, which is also pretty good. The graphics are amazing. Um, I think this is a Crisis 2 map that they remade. But I, I really like the graphics. Um, the starting classes, they're pretty balanced. Um, as you can see, this is a good game that I'm doing at the moment. It's like 13 to 1, I think, start. Um, and this is just done off a, um, just off a custom class, basically with the starting weapons. So that's pretty good. It means that the high levels aren't at such an advantage that you can't kill them. Um, but they can still kill you, so that keeps you like a kind of a balance to the game, you know, it's not like oh if you're a high level you're automatically just going to kill everyone because you're going to have all the best weapons and stuff. Um, the disadvantage is the maps are fairly large. The map you just saw then, Skyline, that is one of the smaller maps. Um, but the majority are fairly large. Like this one, this is a massive map. Um, and as there's not that many people playing the game, only about 400, 450, um, it just means that you're kind of restricted to what you can do because the majority of people play team deathmatch and team deathmatch is only 6v6 so when it comes to you know trying to find enemies in a game like this on a map like this it just makes it a lot harder you know there's a lot of time when you're just running around trying to find enemies um, and that's kind of that kind of there's a downside you know it's not as fun you know, it's not as action-packed as say like one of the uh, Call of Duty maps could be, um, and it's a lot more close quarters. Um, but you know, it's, it's still not bad. Um, I actually do really like it. Now, another feature is that you can find weapons and stuff across the maps that are alien technology, and they're more powerful. Um, that's pretty good, just because you know gives you a sense of like adventure as it were because the maps are larger you know um, they're hidden so if you get them you can get a couple kills out uh, which is also a good feature with sniping uh, there's a bit of bullet drop and it's not like Call of Duty where you can shoot them um, and then uh, they can just run behind a wall and stuff there is bullet drop and there's a bit of sway not so much as Battlefield but you do have to make sure that you're shooting in front of them rather than shooting at them um, because it takes into the, it takes into account that they might move. Um, so that's that's a good feature as well. It's not just like Call of Duty Day where they could run around a wall and just because you shot them where their body was, 
um, you can kill them. But yeah, it's, it's there's cons and you know advantages for everything. But to be honest, it's just what you think personally. So thanks for watching this first watch video. Um, if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. If not, see you around. Goodbye.